Gold recovery from electronics. Gold plating material electronic pin leg and connector. Electronic device legs such as integrated circuit old transistors or some IC chips are mostly cut according to the suitability of electronic circuit assembly. And the cut part is gold plated that's a lot of gold. Leftovers from production in the electrical and electronic equipment industry. You can dig gold form e-waste is collected from various sources such as old computers, cell phones, TVs, and other electronic devices. The collected e-waste is then sorted to separate different types of devices and components. I use sodium cyanide 15 grams with gold stripping 15 grams, 1 liter of water. Normally, 1 liter of chemical can dissolve up to 25 grams of gold from my work on average. Gold stripping industrial use it is not commercially available because it must be used in conjunction with cyanide which is dangerous, and those that are potentially illegal in some countries. It is important to follow all safety guidelines and consult with a professional before attempting this process. Bring the mixed chemicals put in the gold-plated material that we have prepared in the beaker. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to dissolve the gold plating. Sometimes this can take a long time. Or faster than the specified time it depends on the amount of gold plating. You can notice it from the missing gold color from the material. I recommend chemical filtration to reduce contamination from materials we don't want to mix with. Our golden water. I use a funnel and cotton swab to filter out the chemicals. Anyone have a better way? Please introduce. The method might be a good and easy way to find a device to use for me. The important thing is that there must be no contaminants such as scrap metal, sediment. This step I think is very important and affects the quality and quantity of gold received. If there are too many impurities, it will cause the chemical work in the next step to be incomplete in gold precipitation. Filtration may take a lot of time if the raw materials we prepare are not clean, for example there is dust and dirt. Or oil contamination so we should clean the raw materials first. For best results. Use potassium hydroxide for the gold in the solution to bind to the zinc powder I recommend stirring the substance. All the time to make the zinc powder evenly distributed. The gold will adhere to the zinc powder better. Usually we use 300 G of potassium hydroxide per 1 liter of chemical divided into 3 times, 100 G each time. Do this 3 to 5 times until all the gold in the chemical is gone. Notice from the color of the zinc powder. If the original color means that the gold is gone. Working with chemicals, chemical protective clothing, gas masks and appropriate premises must be worn. The air is well ventilated. Safety is very important, please do not overlook it for your own safety. The process of separating zinc powder from chemicals may take some time. And skill in pouring apart I recommend cleaning the received zinc powder with clean water one to two times. Please be careful of zinc powder residue with chemicals and water as it is the gold attached to the zinc powder. How to separate zinc powder from gold we will use nitric acid 68% mixed with water. 2 to 1. 
The nitric acid dissolves the zinc powder, leaving only the powder brown dot that's gold. Add nitric acid to the zinc powder in small amounts, slowly. My technique is to add a small amount of water to the zinc powder beaker to reduce overly aggressive chemical reactions. This process contains toxic gases produced by a chemical reaction. Take precautions to avoid exposure by the principal routes, that is, contact with skin and eyes, inhalation, and ingestion. And wearing protective clothing against chemicals and toxic gases. It can take 30 to 60 minutes for the zinc powder to completely remove. Sometimes nitric acid may need to be added if the chemical reaction with the zinc powder is stopped. Or observed from the air bubbles in the chemical, there are two ways to stop a chemical reaction. The first characteristic that nitric acid is insoluble in zinc powder is due to the acidity is eliminated. The solution is to add nitric acid. Second, nitric acid completely dissolved zinc powder, no chemical bubbles. Brown powder, it is gold powder. Notice the important brown powder that we are familiar with, which is gold powder. Zinc powder is gray-black. This step is simple and uncomplicated. It is important to separate the gold precipitate in nitric acid. It may take time to settle for easy separation. And reduce the loss of gold sediment alternatively, you can use a coffee filter if you're comfortable with this method. Be sure to rinse the gold sediment with hot water to separate the nitric acid from the gold sediment. How to make dry gold powder? I use hot air blower. I think it's easy. I used to use hot plate the gold splashes. Any good way please suggest. You will get gold powder then. Melting the gold powder into cubes. My trick melting the gold powder into cubes. Mix a small amount of the borax powder in the gold powder or borax topping. Improves the efficiency of melting the gold. I use gas torch flame gun lighter or spray gun liquefied gas gun. Let's start with low heat supply. When the gold shrinks, it uses high heat. You may use an electric gold melting furnace or induction heater for quick and efficient work. Gold is typically melted in a crucible, which is a heat-resistant container that can withstand high temperatures. Graphite, ceramic, and refractory metal crucibles are commonly used for melting gold. As the gold heats up, it will begin to soften and eventually melt. Gold transitions from a solid to a liquid state at around 1064 degrees Celsius, 1947 degrees Fahrenheit. Be cautious, as the molten gold and crucible will remain extremely hot for a while. Finish with a little borax topping. Gold Clean Ratio Nitric Acid 1 Water 1 You will receive 18 carats gold if you want 24 carats gold. Bring gold powder to make AR Aqua Regia step. Today I will melt. Do not step Aqua Regia. I received 18 carats gold 2 grams from raw materials 120 grams. It's quite a lot of gold compared to the amount of raw materials. I hope you like our video and useful for you. Please share and subscribe. Check out our other videos too. Thank you very much.